Welcome back to another ballistic test video, everybody. I'm Mike B, and I'm here with my esteemed colleague and nerd friend, Devin K. I'm gonna be helping out with some shooting and camera operating today. We've got the Slo uh, Slovakian Veplas uh, ASR-97 Kevlar helmet. So these were, I think, designed and, and produced in Slovenia and then subsequently Slovakia. There's not a lot known about these. They're somewhat common nowadays, but there's still not a lot of them. They're just on the market temporarily. Um, I've got a couple in my shop at the time of making this video, and I'm going to try to get some more. Really unique design. It's like a giant Pazgit helmet. Um, we're going to see anyway, because this one, the liner's pretty rough on it. We're going to see how this performs compared to other Kevlar helmets that we ballistically tested. It's a nice big target, so hopefully we won't miss and make fools of ourselves like we have been. Uh, anyway, so we're going to check this out, and then we'll conclude the video after we're done shooting it with rifles. So the first pistol we're going to be using is the 9 by 18 millimeter Czechoslovakian CZ-82 pistol. And we're standing at, you know, 10, 15 feet. Typical pistol range, close range. Miss. Oh, I skimmed it, I think. There we go. That's good hit. It's weird that it's like blue. Oh, I did hit it twice. Yeah. I didn't even, I just barely well, saw it one was move. the front rivet, so. Well, yeah. That's that, probably why. Oh, you that's think a weak so? yeah, spot, it was. yeah. So I did miss it. All right, that's good to know. Oh, so it's too close to the rim, so it started bubbling out, but I actually did not kind penetrate. Oh, there's a fragment of the uh, bullet right there. Or the rivet, one of the, no. I, I think know. that might be the rivet hole. I think the bullet fell out because it's like that. Yeah. So it actually defeated the 9x18 macro, but it bubbled out quite a bit. What's up with us shooting low today? I'm gonna try to hit higher. I guess yeah. I gotta aim at the top of the helmet. All right, we're gonna do regular nine millimeter next. It's nine by 19 out of the uh, Hungarian FEG high power pistol. I'm gonna aim at the top of the helmet this time. Maybe I'll actually hit it square. And I hit, and the, top hit the top of the, of the helmet. helmet. Yeah. Why can't I just hit where I'm aiming at? All right. There's That's a, a good, good hit. hit. That took me three tries. Okay, so what we've got here. Oh man, that's actually kind of nice that you skimmed it though. That is some really coarse Kevlar. Yeah, that's weird. And the inside layers just looks like regular. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, that's a weird layer on the outside. All right, so let's see, nine millimeter. I hit it right, right there. here. It barely bubbled in because I hit it up a little higher. So, so far this is performing like a Pazgit or an ACH. I think the bullet is in there. Yeah, it's right there. Here. Yep, I see it right here. Yeah, there it is. Look at that, the slug. Ah, that's hot. I'm not going to touch it, but yeah. there's the slug. So it caught it just how it's supposed to. <laughs> Let me try to pick this up. And flattened it out, smushed it like a pancake. Look at that. That's cool. I mean, that's that's pretty impressive for one of these. Just smush a nine millimeter full metal jacket like that. Very cool, very cool. All right, we'll move on. All right, so this is gonna be kind of a broadside shot, or actually let's step over here just a tad. Um, kind of an angled shot from the front with a 45 ACP, 230 grain full metal jacket. Yep. Nope. That's not it. Right there. Right there. Yep, the big boy. All right. Yeah, so it went right through that. Again, I think it just caught it and dropped it down. And this area has been hit a few times and weakened. The whole front at this point's Pretty been significantly weakened, but it's still, we got a lot I'm of area. It. Yeah, no actual penetration. Um, this is very interesting. Hmm. What is this? I think that's one another one of the rivets. Oh, one of the rivets fell out. That's interesting. It looks like it might have traveled. Oh, this just ripped out of there. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, like the shock ripped it probably off of there. All right. So far, so good. No penetration. Now, the real test. Will it stop the toker? We're gonna do a broadside shot on this one. All right. Pass that separates the boys from the men in the helmet field. 7.62 by 25 millimeter tail grab out of the Yugo M57. Kind 
Couldn't have asked for a better shot. Entrance. Up. Oh, it went through. It went through. I believe it went through. Did it? Damn liner's in the way. It looks like it did if it split it that much. Yep, I believe it went through and... Probably they, not through both sides though, because it doesn't look like there's too much outside of that, but some, some fragments definitely did make it through. Yeah, I don't see any splashing. It's just hard because this damn chin strap is in the way, but yeah, I'd be, I think that's, yeah, it did penetrate because I don't feel the slug. Yeah. So I went through one side and just kind of fell. So that would definitely uh, go through your skull. So as far as Kevlar helmets are concerned, this one will be okay for pistols, it looks like, but you're probably shit out of luck with uh, Tokarev. But we don't ever stop there, do we? No. All right, well, it did not defeat the 762 Tokarev, unfortunately. So now we're gonna throw a little bit kind of, not as fast moving round at it, but definitely a more powerful round, uh, 357 Magnum out of the Ruger GP100. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I saw that. Yeah, yeah, you blew both these rivets out. <laughs> but you hit right there. You wanna hold that up? Oh yeah. Yeah, that would've, it looks like it probably would've gone through if I didn't hit it so close to the rim because it went through everything except for the last layer. Yeah, it, so. it, it definitely, I mean, that's still, you're dead. Yeah. Cause it angled it kind of down and yeah, it went through all these layers right here. You can see it just tore through, there's the channel. Yep. Okay, well it doesn't stop at 357, but are we gonna stop there? I hope not. All right, so we've got the uh, 30 caliber M1 carbine at basically 10 feet, and we're gonna see if this goes through both layers or just one. Well, you hit it right at the weakest point. Yep. So. Oh yeah, that went basically clean through. So, yeah, you can see the little hole right above where mine's all blown oh, out yeah. in there. Yeah. And then it came out, yeah, it came yeah, out right there. Yeah, blew right out. That guy's definitely dead. Uh, yeah, he's toast and so is the guy probably next to him. Yeah. Jeez. Man, well, I just don't think we should stop there. Yeah. Here's the logic why we're not gonna take this out to 100 yards on this one. It did not stop a 7.62 by 25 Tokura, which means it's not gonna defeat a rifle round at 100 yards. Uh, we can safely ascertain that. It's not doing so hot. Uh, pistol rounds were okay, but um, that's why we're just gonna keep this just kind of a fun thing. See what the, uh, see what the rounds actually do to the helmet and see uh, the damage that they cause at really close distances. So we've got the SKS and 7.62 by 39 millimeter. Okay. Yep, straight through. Through the back, right there, out yep. the front. Yep. Jeez. Man, that's insane. Looks like we still got some space to shoot, though. Yeah, we do. Wow. Plenty of space to shoot. It's a gigantic helmet. All right, well, didn't stop a 7.62 Tokarev, didn't stop a 357, didn't stop a 7.62 by 39. Well, maybe it'll stop a 308, right? Used to hoping, because we can. <laughs> yeah, I think it stopped it. <laughs> it caught it, what? Oh, wow. Yeah, it just went clean through one side not even an exit because the angle was so so far down so yeah um i, I didn't think expect we'll... that one i thought it would stop it <laughs> yeah <laughs> i know from that angle especially in that distance yeah. <clears throat> well i believe it is safe to say that the slovakian veplas 
ASR 97 is a good kind of comparable to a steel helmet, like a good steel helmet. Yeah, it's a good first gen Kevlar helmet. Yeah, but... exactly. I mean, these were still pretty new in the 1990s and people were experimenting. It didn't do terrible. I mean, it it, it did okay with the pistol rounds, uh, defeated them in a pretty weak spot in the rim. You'd still have a headache, but uh, yeah, when it got to the toe corral, that's when you kind of know yeah. that it's... It still stopped what it was designed to. Exactly. But... So, yeah. All right. Well, we'll wrap this video up. I appreciate you watching, everybody. I've had a lot of requests for this one to be ballistically, ballistically tested. Um, if you uh, would consider checking out the description for the link to Devin K's channel. He does a lot of the same stuff I do. we got different perspectives and a lot of, a lot of unique things, too, with a little bit of crossover. Um, people that subscribe to both of us really like it. So check his channel out. It's the first link in the description. The rest of the links are to uh, ways so you can support the channel. These ballistic tests do cost a lot of money. They take a lot of time and a lot of effort to coordinate. So your support on the channel really helps and makes these possible. Thanks to all my current Patreon supporters. I really appreciate that. And uh, I just appreciate you watching if you don't want to do that. So thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, if you would, subscribe to the channel if you forgot about it or you haven't already. And we'll see you on the next video.